Today we're visualizing sphere casts and detecting collisions. And we'll do this using gizmos, single sphere travel and lines of spheres. Start by making this visualize sphere cast script and make this enum for our three different types of visualization. Single sphere will send one sphere traveling along the ray, changing color on collision. Line of spheres will visualize a spaced out line of sphere objects, showing us which collide with other objects along our cast. And gizmos only will continually show us a line of spheres in our editor, again showing which ones are colliding. Next we'll add these sphere cast settings, these visualization settings, these color settings, these single sphere settings, these line of sphere settings, these input settings, and these features. Fields. Add these two utility methods to set up our cast positions and check for sphere hits as our sphere travels. And then make this visualize sphere function to create and affect the color of our sphere. Use this method to calculate where each sphere should be created when making a line of spheres. And this method to destroy all the spheres along our line once the sphere timer is up. To cast and move our single sphere, we'll make this coroutine, which will use a while loop to lerp the position of the sphere over time. And to create a line of spheres, we'll use this coroutine using a for loop to instantiate spheres along the path. We can utilize these two coroutines by putting them in a switch statement inside this coroutine. And for our gizmos, make this on draw gizmos method showing us our sphere cast and its collisions in the scene. Finally, make this update method, save the script and close it. In our scene, start by making a plane and setting it to 5 on the x and z scale. Make a capsule called player1 and set its position to negative 5 on the x axis and 1 on the y axis. Drag the visualize sphere script onto the player. Next, make a sphere object, create a layer called ignore overlap and apply that layer to the sphere. Drag the sphere into the assets folder to make it a prefab and delete the one in the scene. Click on the player and set itself as the cast start. Set the player's layer to ignore overlap. Untick ignore overlap in the hit layers and drag in the sphere prefab. Duplicate the player and rename the new one to player 2. Change player 2's x position to 5 instead of negative 5. Then change its visualization mode to single sphere. Create a cube called hittable object and set its x position to negative 5.5 and z position to 7.5. Duplicate the cube and set the new cube's x position to negative 4.5 and z position to 15. Duplicate this cube and change the new cube's position to 4.5 on the x. Then duplicate the first cube again and change the new cube's position to 5.5 on the x. Our scene needs some color, so make a material called mat underscore player. Duplicate it two times and name the new materials mat underscore ground and mat underscore hittable. Make the player blue, the ground dark green, and the hittable yellow. Apply each of the materials. Change the main camera's position to 10 on the Y and 20 on the Z, and its rotation to 45 on the X and 180 on the Y. Hit play, press E to see your sphere cast visualized, and subscribe.